guys, Rob here, Yellow Rose Ranch. Uh, welcome to our ranch. As you can see, we're standing in my pine forest. Got about 40 acres of this stuff. And as you can see from behind me, not much grows in here. And uh, it is 100% due to this stuff. Uh, it's been a couple years since this place has been burned. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Obviously, first step, this is about six acres right here. You don't want to just set, set it and forget it. Uh, even though this place is kind of set up for that. I'll take down a little walk right here. Show you uh, some of the safety features that you want to use. Uh, I'm going to wait for more people to burn the whole thing. But we're going to put in some fire breaks. So, basically fire break would be anywhere in between where there's no fuel for the fire to go so as you can see I got about you know 10 15 feet that's a decent fire break yeah so what we're going for in our silver pasture is uh, something more like this down here so this is looking a little more decent Obviously, still gotta get some grass going going in there. We're taking out some of the trees, uh, let some light in, and it's starting to green up. But we're gonna burn all this and hope to get more grasses growing. First step in a controlled burn, prescribed burn, is uh, making the fire break. Okay guys, I'm going to call this a uh, success. Got a nice little primer fire going. Now we're just letting it burn to the inside. It's not burning too hot. It's a perfect day for this. No wind. And, uh, you know, humidity's maybe kind of high. That's why it's burning so slow, but I don't mind that. So, a little hard to see through the smoke. But that is what we're looking for. Nice slow burn, not too hot. Well, we're back. And the control burn went great. I went up, got a drink of water. Just gonna bring the phone. Bring the camera down here and show you what we did. And uh, we got that. So, we're gonna go put out this fire. Uh, well, come along. This wasn't supposed to be part of the video, but why not? Alright, so, over there is where we wanted to stop. Came back down after getting a drink of water, found this. So, uh, yeah, let's put it out.
Alrighty, well, we got our little rug fire out. And we got the last little vestiges of our control burn. And this isn't going anywhere. I think we did a pretty good job. Throw down some rye seed, take out all these small trees. So here's our before, and here's our after. So the day after, I call it the big fire, and this is what we got. Nice green out land. Uh, you know, what I learned is you can control the fire, Definitely plan ahead, uh, have water buckets set up. Uh, for the most part, it was controlled. I think the most important part is start your fire on the outside when it burns inside to so where it just burns out. Uh, as a new homesteader, <laughs> that was uh, an experience. Though. But we still got a little more to go. We got about two and a half acres over there, two and a half acres that way. And that's already been, uh, the silver patch is already growing halfway decent, but we're gonna burn it probably next week. Uh, I am definitely gonna set up some more buckets and have a few more people, because when you're burning something this big, uh, you can't even see the fire on the other side. I think uh, we did a good job. I think I'll be able to grow some grass in here, come down, cut down some trees, let some more light in. And I think this is gonna be the future of our farm. And I also think, uh, you know, this right here might just be my new favorite tool. Once we get the animals in here, that'll help too. Uh, watch our video on how we raise our pigs, they're doing a great job of turning this into a uh, silver pasture all on their own, no fire needed. But uh, definitely stay tuned. We'll uh, throw some seed down, we'll let in some more light, and we'll see how this goes. Thanks, guys.